are objective okay. and, and job related, I must say. Okay. Gary? Well, once again, I'm torn with, uh, I told myself to keep my mouth shut this morning, but David, I think the uh, statement that this has been uh, blown out of proportion is an understatement. I, those of you that know me for any length of time know that I really tend to cut to the chase most of the time. I, that's just my makeup. That's the way I handle things all my life. And I, when you start talking about those great big peripheral things out there, I want to know what it is we're actually talking about here and what we're actually doing. Um, th this resolution and the way that it gets voted, by the way, I'm supportive of this resolution. The way it gets voted is not a statement from this council of what they condone in the community. It's not a statement of what we're trying to uh, increase or decrease in the community. We don't have that luxury. This council is tasked every Tuesday it comes up here with making sure that the city deals with all of its citizens in a fair and equal manner. We don't not respond. We respond to everybody. We respond to their heart attacks. We respond to their fires. We respond to their car wrecks. We deal with them on an equal basis. We don't have the luxury of saying we're not going to do that because we don't condone their lifestyle. The churches out there, the social settings, the families, all of that, you have the luxury of doing that. This council does not. This council is tasked all the time with making sure that we get fair and equal treatment. As a department head in my previous life, I did have to deal with complaints from people from their sexual orientation at the fire stations. And I dealt with them simply by reinforcing to that work site that we hired those people and we kept those people employed to do the job they were trained to do. And that they should be able to come to work and be treated fairly as long as they did the job the way they were supposed to do it. And that they were handled the same as anybody else in that station, regardless of what color they were or what religion they were or anything else. I, I would find it, the, the term was used hypocritical earlier, I would find it hypocritical on my part if I went out and reinforced those people's rights when I was a department head and I'd understand that they have those rights today. Uh, I just don't think that um, what we're voting on today simply says that we're going to make sure that our employees get the same fair treatment that we give our citizens. If we're willing to respond to those citizens of a different sexual orientation and give them the same services that we give every other citizen in the community, why aren't we willing to treat our employees the same way? And that's the reason I will support it. Okay. Any other comments from council? All right, uh, Ed, it's your resolution. Do you want to make a motion? Do we have a second? We have a motion and a second. I do want to say before we vote that I suspect many of you came here today just for this issue, and when this issue is concluded, your interest in the rest of the meeting has probably subsided. And uh, for that reason, afterwards, I'm going to give everybody about a minute to, to leave if you choose to leave after this vote. If you'll do so quickly and quietly and safely, we'd appreciate it. Uh, but we do have more business to conduct here this morning. All right, we have a motion and a second. We're voting on item 9A. Please cast your votes. And the item passes by a count of 7 to 3.